Hello and welcome, welcome to a, another video and welcome to Lens Island. Yes, this is early access and this is Bug Radio. Basically what Bug Radio is, I'm here at the radio station. I'll be throwing you some songs. We've got some emails to get through that people want some advice and we're going to play at the same time. So I hope everyone is having a good day and has had a perfect weekend. So, it's absolutely freezing outside, I must admit. Um, I'm here in the west country of the UK. Um, I was travelling home this evening um, to come here to the obviously radio station for the first time this year. Snow was absolutely falling everywhere. But it's that time of year again, isn't it? You know, and talking about that time of year, it's uh, it's Christmas. So, as people put their decorations up yet... It's, they say that 40% of people put their decorations up before we even hit in December. Are you one of them that does that? Well, I'll be here. I will be next weekend. So let's get on the... Let's start the show off. I'm here for the next hour talking about people's problems and wanting some advice. Last week, I sent uh, some emails out to see if people um, wanted some advice or they wanted to ask me a question or anything like that. Then obviously I have the emails. We'll get through that as well. Um, we will also have the most important thing for the English people is the weather update and news around the world, including something personal for me um, that happened this weekend as well. We will start with a song um, to get us in the mood. There is some songs coming out, so I will actually start with some songs. Um, we're going to start with um, "We Will Be Unbreakable" by Walking Hearts, and it's modern country.
Night. Obviously, that was Walking Hearts. We will be unbreakable. So let's get straight to the email. So we had one email that came out um, that someone sent to me, and that was someone called Simon Anchor. So the email stated that, Bug, I'm not sure what I want to be when I'm older and I leave school. I'm currently 17 and at secondary school, but I feel I am lost and I'm not sure what way to go as a good path to follow. Have you got any ideas on what I have, what I could do, please? Or how did you choose what you wanted to do? Cheers. And that was from Simon Anchor. Now, see, it's, it's, it's always a hard one on what you want to do when you leave schools. You know, there's loads of little, there's loads of possibilities that what you can do. Um, and it is always hard. Um, it's always a hard choice on what you do when you leave school. But remember, it's, it's very important that this will set you up for your life. I would, and it's my opinion, but I would definitely try and do a trade. You know, like electrician, plum course or something like that. Definitely worth it. And I wish I did that when I left school. Um, I went straight into management sort of side. Um, but ideally, should have got a trade, to be fair. Um, that, that, that would have been much much better um but at the end of the day you know if you did a trade you know electrical or plumbing time you get to 35 you can actually have your own business um but speak to your parents uh, and i'm sure they can guide you onto something you would do but it really basically simon comes down to yourself on what you would rather do in your life obviously um it's always an important thing to start with and it always will be. Um, but again, it is down to yourself. Right, so that hopefully Simon will be as good as I can. We have got a next track coming up. And that is Let's Have a Little Bit of No Love by Ramin Feet. Tongues and all day long, yeah. We reset under burning sun, catching the waves, inhale, exhale, reminiscing the bygone time. Laugh till we cry, days flying by, uh, flying by. Love on delay, push play, let it roll and take you away. Love for a day, we play, we don't care about what they say, and I go on.
right welcome back so let's get on with a bit of weather in the uk obviously so tomorrow is going to be rain and a little bit of snow um it's going to be quite cold actually coming from the west um to the east um it's going to be feeling very chilly in the wind as well that obviously creates quite a cold outlook for the rest of the week actually it's actually getting into double figures um so it is actually going to get uh, a little tad warmer than what it is um but again it's not going to be the actual caribbean weather so you're still going to need your coat obviously right so let's get on to a, another one shall we so um let's have a look at this other email here uh um, and obviously, actually, now we've come to think of it, we've actually, hopefully, you'll have a great Christmas this year. Um, because, obviously, last Christmas wasn't very good at all. Uh, because, obviously, the uh, the COVID that we had that shut everything down. Um, and no one could actually do anything. Um, so, it, it wasn't very great this year. So, I think a lot of people are actually going to make more of an effort this year to uh, just make it a little bit more special, you know. And don't take stuff too much for granted. Um, because obviously like I think in life everyone does so um, yeah it's, it's, it's one of them things unfortunately and I, I see that obviously now we've got a, in Africa they've got another bigger variety of Covid um, but obviously at the moment the UK have actually closed all airports and flights coming from and to um, Africa so um, you know the world's going to experience another form of this COVID, maybe. Who knows? But um, I can't see it going or disappearing, COVID, because it's an airborne disease. Uh, well, it's an airborne vi virus, so I can't see how they're actually going to even think about trying to get rid of it. But, um, yeah, there it is. They, they seem to be quite confident that they're going to try and maintain it, if you like. Um, let's, let's hope that is absolutely true um right so let's put a, another song on we're gonna what we're gonna listen to i follow your heartbeat because you know it's a lovely song it's by tello feet clara clarson and it's from 2010's pop let's get it on
absolutely beautiful song beautiful beautiful song so as the darkness as you can see just becomes on our game here we're gonna have a nice little chat and read out a, another email so this one here is from um who is this from actually uh, they haven't hasn't left a name i've got an email here but there is no name on it so i don't actually know who it's from um so i'm gonna i'm gonna read it out anyway um oh it's from tony order tony order so i didn't see you, your name down there tony um so tony order so let's read it out while we try and get out of the darkness in this game um again as you can probably notice it's the first time that i've actually played this game um, and it's getting quite dark, actually, to be fair. Quite darker than I thought it was. Um, oh, we can actually put a bed in. We'll put a bed in a minute. Right, so Tony Order. A year ago, I started seeing a lovely, funny, and strong woman. She made me so happy, and we planned to move in together. But my family's trying to break us up. I am 42 and have separated from my ex, who is 43, for almost two years. I have three teenage children from my ex, who are 13, 15 and 17. Always. It's always a bit complicated when you get into having the kids. I see them every other weekend and during school holidays. Recently, they have started saying they don't like my girlfriend and don't want me to visit if she is there. My girlfriend, who is 38, is very kind to them, but I think they are being influenced by their gran and auntie, my mum and sister, who want me to get back together with my ex. have heard they've been saying things like my new relationship is just a phase and I'm only there for the sex. Well, that, that is straight away that would be the um, advice that obviously people would assume because in these days people just assume something before getting the facts obviously um <clears throat> and that is how it is it's now causing problems between me and my girlfriend i don't know what to do i don't want to lose her or my children and that is from tony order p.s i love your youtube channel be, I, and I have been a subscriber for ages well thank you very much tony and thank you for the email that you've actually sent me um, again, if anyone wants to send me an email so I can read it out for them, that would be doodle at 31bug at gmail.com. The actual email is in the description below if you want to write in an email that I will read out when I do this every Sunday. Right, so most children are separated. This, this, this is my answer to that, that question. Most children, the separated parents, would like to see their mum and dad reunite. It's, it's only natural that you want your real parents to be and stay together. But that often isn't really realistic, and it never is, to be fair. It never normally happens. And again, you can't stay together just because of the kids, because, again, that, that doesn't work out either. You need to convince them you are happy with your partner, and that it is always better to have two happy parents apart than two unhappy parents together. Um, and, and, and I strongly believe that. So, worried about mum and dad, which explains more. Obviously, the children are always going to worry about their dad, and they're going to worry about their mum. And they want, they want, there's something inside them that they hope that you're going to get together. Um, you know, find a quiet moment to tell your girlfriend that you're going to talk to the children about your future together. Um, you can actually contact Family Lives. Family Lives is a very good um, organisation which can help you all to deal with this better. And that's familylives.org.uk. That is um, something that can hopefully help towards, obviously, the issue that you, you seem to be having at the moment. So I hope that um, helps a little bit, Tony. And again, thank you very much for your email. That is muchly appreciated. Um, as I run around here trying to find some other resources and get some more resources, we're going to play another little song. It is that time again. So I think we are going to have Can I Be Forgiven? That's Sleepaway Camp. 
coming up right after this. Vitamins and history books Psychology and a different way to look at it all Cause my perspective is broken If suffering's a way to earn your key I better start putting miles on my feet But I'm so tired of wandering beautiful song that beautiful song um so we're going to go back to another email we've got a couple more to get through um again this obviously is a new radio station it will be here for around the 35 40 minute mark we've got an actual slot for this um if it becomes over that then they will run a little bit longer than that so we've got another email here from tyler um it just says tyler b at the end of it so i'm not too sure he is a subscriber um, so it says, Dear Bug, I would love to become a YouTuber or content creator, as they're called. Have you got any tips on starting out? Thank you, Tyler. Right, well, Tyler, it's it's one of the things, as you know, I started in 2016. Um, and, you know, I haven't got a lot of subscribers compared to what some people have. Um, it takes time. It takes a lot of effort. And you know when you're not feeling doing you want to do videos but 
you have to to keep the channel going to get new content out there you know you're always thinking about new things to do and what you need to do um you know and some of it is luck it, it, there, there's no question about it there, there is a, a lot of luck in it but for me it's about hard work doing videos uploading them again like i said when you really don't want to or you're not in the mood constantly constant is a key here now i wish i was a big youtube star it'd be brilliant i could do videos all day long i i could make the channel so much better to what it is now um you know i put a lot of money into it to try and make it better for people to listen to and for me to talk um again like as you're hearing now i i've i've put a lot of investment you don't need to um but you know i probably wouldn't it never happened to me i'll never get to where i really want to be um because it's out of my hands you know i can keep trying keep producing videos as much as i can um but i like doing videos and i like doing graphic designs um i do about two a day um where i sell graphic intros and stuff like that and i do intros for people just starting out in the youtube wise and stuff like that and, and i sell them on the forum you know it only, it only costs about 15 pounds uh uk money uh, and i do about two a day give or take sometimes i don't do some for a couple of days um but i get around six or seven maybe eight in a week um doing different graphics and stuff like that so i like doing that um and as we talk now i've got about three waiting to be done so i, I do a lot of that as well as trying doing this um but for me it's about pleasure trying to keep you know it's a pleasure thing for me to produce videos as best as i can um and challenge myself you know and and, and a lot of that is you know you, you need to sort of challenge yourself you, you can't get to the attitude where oh well that'll do because you know it's never gonna do you need to be better you need to be pushing yourself much better than what you currently are um you know but i mean the basics all you, all you need to do to start up is a mic obs software that's free so that doesn't pay anything that's what you're seeing now that i'm recording from it doesn't cost anything at all uh and you need a mic and and so on you know and just keep uploading get the best you can afford as well you know good luck that you know you do it keep doing it and keep going for it i'm full of wood, wood here um so yeah hopefully that sort of explains it a little bit for you um a lot of it is luck you know you, you can't tell me that people all these youtube stars knew they were going to be successful nah, of course they don't it's about luck determination and constant that's, that's basically all of it in a nutshell right so hopefully that has um, helped you out so we're going to actually bang another one now we're going to do with um shush and that's Bonkers Beat Club. It's an old school hip hop music. I'll see you after that.
right welcome back welcome back hope you're doing absolutely wonderful so obviously i have obviously tried to um do as many videos as i can from that last call, uh, last email i hope that helped john uh tyler out very much um so yes i've tried to obviously do some quite a few videos this weekend unfortunately i had to bury my um we go to a funeral for my granddad um so that was the reason um there wasn't too many videos um but hopefully you will like this new radio stuff they will be doing it live we will be having interaction with other people on there as well um it gives it a little different sort of you know you can watch and listen to music at the same time as well as listen to me obviously that's the most important thing obviously um right so i think we are done there it is hitting around 35 minutes and i've only got a slot of around 40 minutes but i can go up to 60 minutes if need be um so we're gonna actually play another song just to finish this off um loads of different songs but i think we're gonna start with almost too easy by thomas skeltenberg let's listen to it absolutely beautiful that was almost too easy by thomas skeltenberg i think we've actually got time for just a quick more song um and we're going to go with a bit of reggae i think so we're going to do with wadaguan that was callisto young
welcome back welcome back so excellent so thank you for joining me that is the end of the show today um my name is doodlebug thank you very much and please join me next time on bug radio hopefully all the emails that i received um i have helped you in what i've said um and i shall see you hopefully next time on another radio very very soon if you've got something or you want to email me then please do at doodle31bug at gmail.com that email will be in the description below until next time i shall see you very soon thank you for joining me goodbye